my partner never ride in solo though And we got to be lucky, no need to Do it sound like I'm kidding, I'm gonna make one from everyone here at 2K, thanks for joining us. We've got a Wednesday afternoon edition of the NBA for you. I'm Brian Anderson. With me tonight, Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson with Ali LaForce joining us courtside. Now the starting group for the visitors. And for Boston, Tobias Harris out there with Herb Jones. Then there's Brooke Lopez. Then there's Ja Morant. Here's Bogues. Pass to Leonard. Takes the three. Rebounded by Lopez. Austin on offense. Here's Stackhouse. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Assisted basket. Coaches just love those. So credit Harris for the pass. Harden fires away from outside. And it's Harris with the rebound. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Yeah, he might have been feeling himself a little too much on that one. He can hit it, but not consistent. That one goes. Count it. Defense comes at Harris hard inside, but he is physical right back. If you hit first, it hurts less. And we're about a minute into the first. Oh, Morant with the block. Here's Stackhouse, defended by Harden. Count it. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, nice finish from him on that drive. Uses his body well and helps extend the lead. Harden misses. Outside Moran. Inside. Here's Stackhouse. Lopez passes to Moran. Jones up top. Over Leonard. Shot clock at six. Jones' his shot is good. You can really feel the momentum swinging in their direction. Yeah, but they can't relax. They've got to keep building on this lead because it is not safe. Now here's Leonard. That one off the back iron and out. 56 seconds left to play in the first. And the basket by Stackhouse. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. They came out swinging, really setting the tone on offense, and the opposition has not been able to respond. Here's Harden. Ten points separating these teams. To win the run. That shot, no good. Good D by Vanderbilt. It's Monk on the wing. Leonard defending. Oh, there's a killer two-hand slam. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. It also allows them to play inside out, which will make them even more difficult to defend. Here's Bogues. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Leonard against Monk. Now here's Leonard. He's covered closely. Misses from short range. The drive by Rose. 
And that one's drained from the low block. They're starting to pull away here as their shots keep falling. Yeah, the D is looking helpless to stop them right now. They're doing whatever they want to do on offense. Domination in the first quarter. It's been pretty lopsided. The Milwaukee Bucks leading by 14. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Boston. Herb Jones out there with Tobias Harris. Then there's Ja Morant. Then there's Brooke Lopez. Shots good by Morant. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Yeah, not just an impressive showing on offense, but on defense as well, executing their game plan perfectly. A unique talent. Ja Morant has taken the NBA by storm. Grant, does Ja remind you of anyone? Well, many people, including Paul George, have compared Ja to a young D. Rose. Yet each explosive athlete's at the one position. Both Ja and Rose leading their teams at a young age as well. And for Boston, we've got Tobias Harris. He's out there with Brooke Lopez. Ja Morant is out there with Herb Jones. And using that size to his advantage. I mean, I like it when Lopez establishes himself inside and looks to capitalize. Tillman with a screen. Here's Bogues. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Knocked loose. And out of bounds, Boston will have it. That pass wandered off target. Can't lose focus on the little bitty things. One fifty-two left to play in the first half of basketball. And you just got to respect Harris's three-point shot. He is a very capable scorer from that distance. Now here's Harden. From deep. They get it again. Tillman misses. Boston on offense. 19-point lead, which is the largest margin of the game. And they blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance at another one at the strike. Just a big-time finish by Harris. One more coming at the line. Aiden, he's checked in for Boston. Graham comes in for John Morant. And Harris no good on that one. A minute 20 left in the first half of basketball. Nice shot by Harden. This is Harden's mindset. Consistent at attacking and looking to shoot off the catch. Outside Graham. Pass to Jones. Back to Graham. Let's the three fly. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Tillman with a screen. Three-pointer, Harden. And it's Harris with the rebound. And <laughs> just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Aiden with it. He's against Tillman. Harris's shot is good. Harris has got nine. <laughs> leaving absolutely nothing on the table right now. Their focus and execution has been outstanding. It's caused them to pull away a bit. Let's see if they can keep the train on the tracks. And he continues to cast away, but the results just haven't been there tonight. Leonard against Jones. Graham for three. Oh, and he hits it at the buzzer. They already had the momentum going to the break. Now they've got even more of it. And so it's Boston already up 26 points as this quarter ends. And they've effectively guarded Kawhi Leonard all night. Not an easy task by any means. We'll be right back with you shortly.
Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Boy, you look at Tobias Harris in this game. He's been everywhere. And in the first half, he dominated in the post. He got the looks he wanted and was able to execute. The question now is will the defense keep letting him punish them inside? Or did Coach have some new ideas for them? Second half underway. Here's who Willie Green's got on the floor. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Back to Harden. The three. And it's Harden again missing. Got to find easier shots when you're already struggling. That's not going to get it. You know, only two players have won both MVP and Six Man of the Year honors. Bill Walton and James Harden. What's interesting is that they won Six Man of the Year at very different stages. Harden was 22 and still growing as a player, while Walton was 33 at the tail end of his career for the Celtics. Clock at two. Bogues. And they're on the run. Here's Harris. Good. And the setup by Moran. Harris has got 11 points. What a pass for Moran. He does a terrific job staying alert, seeking out the right opportunities to get his teammates involved. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. And you know, B.A., even with the game well in control, he's going right at the rim. I love it. There's the triple. No good on the shot. And Boston going the other way now. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the third quarter. Pass to Stackhouse. And here's Lopez. And he lays it up and in. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. Here's Bogues, pounded by Moran. Leonard outside. Pass to Harden from deep three-point range. And it's Harris with the rebound. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Moran, the pass to Harris. Got it. Good job in the low post. Harris has gotten four this quarter. Their offense has been unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. They've had great execution, and what stands out is that they're just taking what the defense gives them, not forcing anything. No good, and they can't put it into the drought. Boston on offense. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. Oh, he couldn't stay in bounds, and that's going to be a turnover. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Outside Murray. To the left side wing. It'll count. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. And so it's Boston holding a massive 34-point lead to end the quarter. It hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. They're winning with efficiency. We'll be back in a moment. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Serving it up on a platter, that is a beautiful dish. And two teammates on the same page, woo! And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. They've got Malik Monk, Devontae Graham out there with John Wall. Then there's Jonathan Isaac, and it's Aiton in at the five down low. And it's Wall with the block. Swatted by the guard. John Wall has sneaky length at 
The visitors with the ball. Soft touch off the glass. Ooh, hit him with the spin cycle. Everyone out there is a little dizzy by that move by Murray. Graham against Murray. Graham misses. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Stolen by Aiton. Here's Monk on the take. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Fantastic decision making. Aiton electing to move it for the high percentage look. Outside Murray. Beyond the arc. It's not going to go for him. Austin on offense. Monk with it. Pass to Aiden. Count that bucket. Aiden's got his first points in this one. Grown man strength right there. Aiden just pushing through contact and getting it done. Murray against Graham. Wide open. And Aiden pulls it down. Boy, this could snowball if they continue to put up points. I can't say enough about their performance. Rose, the pass to Monk. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Rose. Since half, there's been a stark contrast between these teams. I'm talking about efficiency at the offensive end. And start with their defense. They've been intense on that end, and they can actually help their offense as well. Here's Nash. That one doesn't drop. And Boston going the other way now. One minute left to play in the fourth. Right side Graham over Murray. Here's Aiton. Uses the glass to finish the layup. I mean, come on. A seven-footer with a 7-5 wingspan. Aiton beats everyone to the ball and converts easily. Murray against Graham. They need this. Murray, no good. And here's Monk. And we've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And it's Rose penetrating. Uses the glass on the layup. And guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and seal the game. Saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. Pass to Murray. Ooh, Aiden with the block. Yeah, Aiden has all the physical gifts of a great shot blocker. Size, length, and agility. Okay, when you let someone with this height get this close, it's going to be nearly impossible to stop, especially when he has that big of an advantage in this category. First team foul. Isaac, no good on the free throw. So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game we've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their masterful performance. And I'm sure their fans appreciated it, too. We saw the outstanding defense and a loaded offensive effort. They were just dominant out there. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.